It's been 10 years since Josh Powell killed his two sons in a house fire in Washington State. Now, two years ago, after the infamous disappearance of his wife, Susan Cox Powell. Fox 13 News reporter Spencer Joseph joins us live in studio right now, having talked to those who knew Susan and her boys best, sharing how even 10 years later, they say there's renewed hope to find justice. Spencer. Ryan, Amy, I spoke today with Susan's best friend, as well as Charlie and Braden's child care provider, who was incredibly close with the kids as well as Susan. While today it's difficult to talk about what happened for them, they're glad to share the stories in the hopes that they can help others as well. Hope everything works out and we're all happy. And It's a story that's mysterious, devastating and shocking. The investigation has captured the hearts of Utah. On anniversaries like today, it is a little bit harder. The disappearance of Susan Cox Powell captivated the nation, but it was the death of her two boys, Charlie and Braden, along with her husband, Josh Powell, who killed them. That is the most shocking of all. The boys were killed by their father in 2012. Ten years ago to the day, Josh locked the door on a social worker, and before anything could be done, the house was little blaze. That was February 5th, 2012. Like, I find myself trying to remember what, what did Charlie and Braden sound like, you know, how did they act. Kiersey is Susan's best friend. Other days it just feels like yesterday that I said goodbye to her. She remembers that day all too well. You find yourself remembering where you were when you got the call. I just cried and just couldn't believe it was true. This is just another reminder that Susan's still missing. It's a another reminder that there's a court case that's still pending. Debbie Caldwell is another who remembers. As the boys' daycare provider, she knew them and Susan very well. I felt right away I had a connection to Susan because when he walked away, she said, I'm, I'm looking at possibly getting divorced and changing my work schedule, will that be a problem? And I said, no, not at all. In the wake of a day of remembrance, there are renewed efforts. Right now in the West Desert, Utah's own Heavy D, Dave Sparks, is exploring a mine shaft that conspiracy theorists have labeled as Susan's possible resting place. Caldwell spent the day with the team looking for any signs. Many years we've talked about, you know, how can we get to the bottom of this mine? How can we put this theory to rest? And this team of guys have taken it on. And efforts are also being made to protect other women and children from the same fate. I have personally been messaged by many, many women. Oh, thousands, thousands of stories. To tell me, I just want you to know that your friend did not die for nothing. I am alive today and so are my children. Many of those women did not realize they were, they were being abused. While nothing will make things okay, it's the help her story has provided to thousands that those still hold on to today, 10 years later. People will look at Susan's picture and her son's and realize this was a beautiful, amazing soul who left this life way too early. Right now, there is renewed efforts to make sure that there is legislative action for survivors of domestic violence, as well as efforts to pass bills across the country that limit the ability for those accused of murder, like Josh, to see their children, preventing what happened today, 10 years ago, from ever happening again. In studio, Spencer Joseph, Fox 13 News, Utah. Yeah, such a grim milestone. I remember right where I was when I heard that awful news. Now, if you or someone you know needs help, it is just a phone call away. We want to put this information out there to our viewers. The Utah Domestic Violence Coalition number 1-800-897-LINK, 1-800-897-5465. If you or a family member is in immediate danger, of course, call 911.